Known as the land of the Viet, this country also embraces 53 other ethnic groups who for thousands of years have been living mainly in the mountainous areas. The majority Viet settled in the coastal lowlands and practice a culture of acceptance and adaptation, while many upland groups remain isolated with little change. This reality displays a full image of the music of Vietnam, rich in featured presentations and colorful in soundscapes. Upland groups are found in two areas of Vietnam, in the north and the central highlands. The upland groups in the north include the Mong Thai, Mong Zai, Lolo, and more. They are related to groups residing in southern China, northern Laos, and northern Thailand. The groups living in the central highlands include the Jari, Banar, Ede, Nong, Chiang, and more. They have possessed astonishing gong and bamboo ensembles for several thousand years. They are related either to Mong Khmer or Malayo-Polynesian speakers in Southeast Asia. In general, gongs are among the most venerated instruments in the upland cultures of Vietnam. The music of Viet in the lowlands is, however, better known in the media and performances nationwide. Rice farmers' traditional songs, or Zun Ka, are a prominent part of the folk treasure of Vietnam. These songs are sung during work in the rice paddies, while traveling on rivers during leisure times, or at the seasonal village festivals. Many are love songs, riddle songs, and work songs centering around the themes of rivers, birds, fruits, mountains, and moral advice. The Zunka is performed mostly unaccompanied in solo, duet, or choral forms, but sometimes a few percussion instruments accompany singers with special rhythmic patterns. Repartee and responsorial styles are the most characteristic when songs are sung alternately between men and women or as solo and chorus. A festival is more than a musical event at the village temple or shrine. It involves meeting with the elders, ritual ceremonies, commemorations, dances, food offerings, musical theater, and even traditional sports. The dates of important festivals are memorized by local people, so to take places in cycles of one, two, three, or more lunar calendar years. Music is also performed at unscheduled events. Musicians, singers, and connoisseurs can get together to perform sung poetry. Poems are sung in a particular style called ngam te, or turned into songs called ka. There is a vast collection of poems and rhymes in Vietnam preserved in the typical chamber music art of Ka Chu of the north, Ka Hue of the center, and Dun Ka Tai Te of the south. The Ngum Te may also be part of the performance. Vietnamese poetry is an old and extensive tradition. The tale of Q by Nguyen An Zhu, 18th century poet and diplomat, consists of thousands of verses and can only be sung in sections because it is so long. Both prose and poetry are used in the theatrical art of Vietnam, a tradition that originated in the 10th century AD from short folk plays. Musical theater is a prominent kind which includes song, dance, mime, and acting, along with instrumentation and accompaniment. It serves village festivals and important occasions in the cities. Specialized theater houses in the cities present either Mua Zoi, Cheo, Tuong, or Kai Leung, 
Each represents the distinct linguistic character and music of its home region. The Muazoi Nuk is, on the other hand, a kind of puppet theater which is performed in water. Nuk. It is a unique kind of theater in the world in which wooden puppets are manipulated by puppeteers waiting in water and playing stories on the surface of the village pond. Other forms of theater, like Cheo and Tuong, have long histories of existence among the population and at the royal court. Their performances are irreplaceable in Vietnamese traditional festivals. The Tuong was once elevated to the national rank by the kings because of its sophistication in music and aristocratic literature. Meanwhile, the Keo Theater has gained popularity in the Red River Delta of the North because of its beautiful lyrics and familiar daily scenes. The Kai Leung is a southern Vietnamese theatrical form which derived from the Dun Ka Tai Te chamber songs in the early 20th century. Music and dance have long been a part of the early dynasty of the Hong kings since the 2nd century BC, as illustrated in the engravings on the surface of Vietnamese bronze drums. After centuries of war for independence, the court music was formally established in the 10th century AD and flourished during the Li and Chun dynasties, 11th to 14th centuries. Because Vietnamese dynasties ceased to exist after 1945, when the last emperor stepped down, the royal court music came into disuse. But visitors to the imperial city of Hue can again find the former royal music in a restored form. With the city itself having been selected by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, a few musicians of the former court orchestra who survived the war made a praiseworthy effort to hand down their honorable tradition to the younger generation. Mahayana Buddhism was introduced as early as the 2nd century AD and became a major religion in Vietnam. Compassion and tolerance are taught by the text and poetry chanting with rich melodies at over a thousand temples throughout the country. Due to its long history of propagation and contribution to the Vietnamese arts and literature, Buddhism's influence on other local religions like Chao Van, Khao Dai, and Hua Hao is clear. Meanwhile, Christianity became known in Vietnam predominantly through the Catholic Church. Its original Latin liturgy was either converted to or modified into Vietnamese. Like many other countries in the world, the impact of Western music is overpowering. It came with the introduction of modern technology from Europe and America. Early influence of Western music appeared at the times when the contacts with the European cultures were established in Vietnam in the 16th century, first through Catholic missionaries, then colonialists. In the latter half of the 20th century, Western styles of music were, in reverse, used by the revolutionaries against the occupying French army. It captured a sense of modernity which, unlike the traditional music, appealed quickly to larger audiences for many purposes and multifaceted performances, from revolutionary to romantic, from purely Western orchestral style to combinations with traditional elements. This new music currently dominates not only the media, but CD, VCD, DVD music productions, schools, coffee shops, restaurants, and other performances. Under this new trend of globalization, the traditional music seems to have regained some flavor for presentations of local specialties to the world.
ngaji bala yang met men ngaji oh met men oh men met men jong i sang krong i jua rong bu pung de yu wei me jok kada na me ya kada na me do yo tui te ton lo bon me do tui gan lo bit lan me 